Welcome back to some more Destiny 2 Lightfall. In today's video, we're going to be going over a God Roll Guide for the Hero's Burden Iron Banner SMG. Going to go over the perks, the stats, then we're going to get into some PvP gameplay. So Guardians, let's get into this. The Hero's Burden is a legendary energy submachine gun. Does void damage. If you guys want to snag this weapon for yourself, you have to get into the Iron Banner. It has a chance to drop at the end of matches, and you can also get this by earning rank up packages from Lord Saladin. And once you get your hands on some Iron Banner engrams, you can actually focus this at Saladin over at the tower. This is an adaptive frame SMG, a well-rounded grip, reliable and sturdy, firing at 900 rounds per minute. Looking at the base stats, this has a range of 44, stability 40, handling 59, reload speed 53, aim assistance 51, it has a zoom of 14, airborne effectiveness of 12, recoil direction of 93. So when it comes to the perks, like I said, recoil direction is already at a 93, which is pretty high. If you wanted to max it out, you can go with something like arrowhead break, but the base damage fall off is only at 17.5 meters. So I would definitely go with a range barrel. Something like hammer forge is gonna give you a plus 10 to range. It's gonna bump up that damage drop off to 18.7. Small bore gonna give you a plus seven to stability, plus seven to range. It's gonna give you a damage drop off of 18.3. Full bore is gonna give you a plus 15 to your range, getting this all the way up to 19.3 meters before experiencing damage drop off, but it hurts your stability by 10 and your handling by five. If you're on PC, full bore is not a bad option, but for you controller players, I think full bore takes away too much stability, so go with Hammer Forged. Then for the magazine perks, you got Flared Magwell, Alloy Magazine, Steady Rounds, Extended Mag, Tactical Mag, Appended Mag, and Accurized Rounds. For the Crucible, Range is King, definitely go with Accurized Rounds. It's gonna give you a plus 10 to your range. And paired with Hammer Forged Rifling, this is gonna push this up to almost 20 meters before damage fall off. If you want this for PBE, I would go with a magazine that extends the magazine. You got Appended Mag, Tactical Mag, and Extended Mag for that. I would go with Extended Mag because it's gonna bump your magazine by the most. And it's also gonna bump your airborne effectiveness by 10. And unfortunately, I do believe the old version of Hero's Burden used to be able to get ricochet rounds, but according to light.gg, ricochet rounds isn't in the magazine perk column anymore, which is kind of disappointing because ricochet rounds is pretty cracked in the Crucible. So like I said, for PvP, you're gonna have to go with accurized rounds. For PvE, go with extended mag. Then the first column of trait perks, you got under pressure, moving target, beating frenzy, tunnel vision, fragile focus, and zen moment. For the Crucible, we got a couple of good options here. We got moving target, Increases your movement speed and target acquisition when moving while aiming down sights. Gives you a plus 10 to aim assist and it's going to bump up that strafe speed a little bit so you'll be that much harder to hit in your 1v1s. We've also got tunnel vision. Reloading after defeating a target greatly increases target acquisition and aim down sight speed for a short duration. It's going to give you a plus 20 to your aim assist. The base aim assist on this is 51 so if you have tunnel vision reload it's gonna bump it all the way up to 71 and if you happen to slap on a targeting adjuster it's gonna bump it all the way up to 76. pair that with some targeting mods on your helmet and this is gonna be very very sticky in the crucible and then my number one pick in this column is actually zen moment if you weren't aware bungie recently changed zen moment made it a lot better on weapon hits for one second it reduces the weapon's recoil grants flinch resistance reduces visual weapon shake removes reticle bounce Zen Moment is now an S tier perk in the Crucible. If you don't believe me, Cool Guy actually did a video on this recently. Go check out that video because he breaks it down in depth and he definitely convinced me I'm a believer in Zen Moment now. I recently went into my vault. I've been trying out a lot of weapons with Zen Moment. Trust me when I say it's S tier. So if you're going for a PVP role, I would definitely say go with Zen Moment. Then in the last column of trait perks, we've got Kill Clip. Iron Reach, Iron Grip, Destabilizing Rounds, Gut Shot Straight, and Dynamic Sway Reduction. Iron Reach is going to tack on plus 20 to your range, but it gives you negative 30 to stability. Might not be a big deal if you play on PC, but for you controller players, negative 30 to your stability is really going to hurt. It's going to be really hard to control this. Iron Grip gives you a plus 20 to stability but negative 30 to your reload. Stability is really nice on SMGs, so you might wanna go with this if you don't really care about the reload speed. Gut shot straight, not a fan of this perk. States that aiming down sights increases body shot damage, but 
it decreases the target acquisition not really worth it then we got dynamic sway reduction improves accuracy and stability while continuously holding down the trigger s tier perk for the crucible since this is an smg you're always going to be holding down the trigger in every single gunfight you don't need a kill to activate this perk definitely a top tier choice and then of course last but not least we got the tried and true kill clip reloading after a kill grants increased damage the 25 percent increase to damage I do believe at base you're doing 17 to the head. Once you get kill clip procced, it's going all the way up to 22 to the head and guardians don't stand a chance when kill clip is procced. And then we've got some basic origin traits. Skulking wolf, while at low health, guardian final blows with this weapon grant enhanced radar and remove you from the opposing radar. Really nice perk for the crucible, but I tend to favor Suro synergy. Basic origin trait over Skulking Wolf. Reloading grants this weapon bonus handling and reduces incoming flinch for a short duration. The reason I like Sura Synergy better is because you don't need to get a kill. Skulking Wolf, you need to get a kill for it to activate. Suro Synergy, you literally can just fire off a shot or two before you know you're going to get into a gunfight. Reload and you got that enhanced handling and flinch resistance. So Guardians, in my opinion, PvP God Roll, Hammer Forge Rifling, Accurized rounds, Zen moment, kill clip, Suro synergy. That's what I'm taking into the Crucible. But when it comes to PvE, this is actually a really good option now because of the brand new perk that it comes with destabilizing rounds. Final blows cause nearby targets to become volatile. Volatile rounds, top tier in PvE. You pair that with Feeding Frenzy. Each rapid kill with this weapon progressively increases reload speed for a short time. This is a very good SMG in PvE activities. I got destabilizing rounds on the PvE footage that you guys are watching. So for the PvE God Roll, I would say Hammer Forge Rifling, Extended Mag, Beating Frenzy, destabilizing rounds, and then once again go with Suro Synergy. That would be the God Roll. And with all that being said, we're going to jump into the Crucible so I can show you guys how this weapon performs. And before we get in there, this is the roll that I have, but this is actually the old version. As you can see, I got Ricochet Rounds on mine, and according to Light.gg, you can't get ricochet rounds anymore and ricochet rounds is really good so i really like this roll it's pretty nasty in the crucible especially when you got kill clip procced so guardians if you guys are new here found this video helpful subscribe to the channel if you guys are new follow me over on twitch for the live streams and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace peek it peek it oh my goodness Oh, we got him. Oh, we melted that guy. 22 to the head. I think we're doing... What are we doing? 17 regularly, and then 22 when this is up. 22 to the head, firing on 900 rounds per minute. Hot damn, Sam. That is fast. absolutely melted oh melted both of them I didn't see that coming we got volatile rounds oh, oh, good, go. no, no. the little threadlings there's somebody in this corner Oh, switch it to the tunnel vision destabilizing rounds. That dude was charging up his fusion too. Oh, dude, this thing melts when you get kill clip going. Oh, son of a bitch. How's it feel? How's it feel getting fusion rifled back to back? Nice, nice, nice. Stole that kill, no shame. Oh my god, we melted him with kill clip.
Oh, get f***ed. Get f***ed. 